AI lab, I think, I'm not sure, when Gordon had to go away. He had to go to Baltimore and do the job for the Social Security Administration. So, but who's going to run the club meetings? And, well, I, I didn't put my name forward, but Marty did it for me. Um, Marty Spurgell, the junk man, uh, who I think uh, played an important part in the, in the success of the Apple II. Uh, by marketing, daring to be the one who sold the RF modulators and, and, and made it stick. Anyway, uh, I set up, a, I decided let's go around the room and find out some, a little something about everybody that they want us to know and then we'll have a discussion period and then we'll go back and re based on what we've learned we'll do this again and maybe we can iterate three times or something in the meeting. Well, never got finished with the first discussion period. Uh, that was the the random access session and the, the well, there was the mapping session, not the napping session, as I would tell people. Um, and that was a, 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 you know, that process worked good and I had to learn how to deal with an audience, which is an interesting craft to learn. Um, and you get all kinds of people, like Jim Warren from the back would be signaling me, you know, this guy's going on too long and so forth. Well, I had to, he didn't have any official position. Nobody did. Um, so you had to put up with that. So anyway, you could tell when the lights were going off, when people started having a yes it is, no it isn't discussion. And my job was to break that up. Um, now something else happened which was really important, I think, because for a while we were having speakers uh, at the meeting, at the first, you know, first half hour. And sometimes the speakers wouldn't show up. What do you do then? So I just said, okay, the topic is such and such. Who here knows something about it? And someone would raise their hand and I would call on them and they would tell their fact. And then that would cause somebody else to raise their hand and have an, and there another fact or a disputation and a, a finer point to put on it. And we, several times, created a lecture from the audience. And of course, we were used to that kind of people in the audience talking. Um, I mean, this, this, and at the third meeting at the, at the which was at the Peninsula School, um, Gordon French was trying to hold a lecture on computer science, and half the audience was out in the hall, including me. <coughs> and I sort of noticed that what was going on in the hall was everybody was meeting everybody else and you know, exchanging that sort of information. And I figured this is the process we need to bring into the meeting if we ever get a chance. <laughs> and, and we did. Uh, and so that's sort of what made it work. When we incorporated the club, uh, I don't know if that was 76 it was. That's 1976 because the papers say that. Um, I had to sort of, I had a hard job up front because everybody wanted to either move into the mode of being a parliament or something. And I had to say, this corporation is just a paper construct with five people's name on it. It's there, you know, to, to keep problems away. It's not the structure of how we do things here. And finally, I had to say something like, this is my show, and if I decide to, I'll take it on the road or something. Um, I'm not at all sure if I had left that anybody would have gone with me. 